Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Pardon me for being stuffed up today. The pollen is really bad here in South Georgia. The pine trees have decided to um, go fertile or whatever they do. I don't know. But anyway, the pollen is terrible <clears throat> and I am did not feel good today. Anyway, thanks for coming back. Got this quick haul video um, I wanted to show you. First of all, my good friend Donald Perry from down in Florida. I got a package in the mail and I just got some others, you know, but not from Donald. And uh, he sent me these uh, scale autos and I can't get enough of these. These are so cool. Um, this one is a 1986 edition. This was 97, 94, and I think this one, 2003. But he sent me these scale autos and I, I Boy, I was thumbing through them, and it's so cool. So cool. Again, wish I could have been around or in modeling when um, Scale Auto was in its prime because it would, have, it would have been so much fun to look forward to getting these in the mail or go and pick them up at the uh, book, bookstore or wherever you used to get these at. But, yeah, um, thank you so much, Mr. Um, Donald. And uh, I will definitely be looking at these um over and over and over it's like uh time capsules that's what's so cool about them. time capsules speaking of time capsules my um <clears throat> my mom unfortunately had a friend that passed away and she had the opportunity to go into the house and help the cousin move some of the uh of their uh, of her stuff and uh she was able to get this for me um she found this there in the uh in the house and was was given permission to take it by the way she didn't just take it but she says i found you a model kit she also remember the um remember the promos that i showed these guys right here these promos same house so it was the same house I just had not received the uh, model car from her when I did that. Anyway, she found this, and I'm. She said I found a model kit. And w what's the first thing you think when you think an older person's house and a model kit? You think, oh man, it's going to be like a 1960, uh, you know, AMT or SMP or some some. But anyway, it was cool though. This is a this is a 1977 uh, copyright. Porsche 924. It's a curbside kit. This is a fairly rare kit. I challenge you to go check it out. It is number 20, 2106. Um, it's, it's actually kind of pricey. But she says it looks like it's all there. And I opened it up. And what do you know? Well, it's all there. It's But it's a real simple curbside kit. Didn't have many parts to it. And uh, I thought, man, that's really neat. Look at the uh, instruction sheet. This is kind of funny. That's it. You know, it's just, it, it was so, uh, it's not a snap kit because it does tell you to seam in it. But it's a kit that you don't see very often. And uh, the box is in great shape. It's, a, it's a, It looks old. It does, it's not like it's been in the sun in a window or anything. Yeah, it's 2106. There's the bigger number. But it's a really cool kit, and I thank my mom for bringing that to me. 124 scale, too, which Monogram had quite a few 124 scale kits. So there you go. Porsche 924. One of those front engine Porsches. Oh, Porsche. Sorry, Lucas. I was saying Porsche the whole time. It's Porsche. All right. Porsche 924, 1977 edition of Monogram. Next. All right, so... The next one that I've got here is from my friend, Tim Ryan. Tim sent me, um, let's see, where are they at? He sent me, uh, oh, the, remember the t-shirt, Classic Plastic, that I got from one of my last haul videos? I held it up. It was a black shirt. It was at their club, Classic Plastic. Well, Tim is a member of that uh, uh, Classic Plastic model club, and I... Tim, if you're watching this, I'm truly planning on going and get, filling the form out so I can become a member of your club. Thank you so much for offering that to me uh, through you and Jeff Elliott. But anyway, 
Tim sent me something. I was like, when you get a box on the on the porch and 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 it and it shakes and you can hear styrene, it's like yes, it's so much fun. But he sent me these. I'm gonna go through them one by one. So he sent me this um, monogram kit, '96 um, Dale Earnhardt. It, remember the Olympics were in um, Atlanta. And this is that tribute car, commemorative edition, Atlanta, 1996, Dale Earnhardt, Monte Carlo. <coughs> Excuse me. Very cool. Very cool car. I don't know what the decal, if that's, if you have to paint it like that, or if that's decals. Um, but you know me, it's in the, it's in the, uh, the plastic, so I'll probably never know. But anyway, that one. Then, sticking with the theme. This Ravel Dale Earnhardt Jr. or Dale Earnhardt number three Monte Carlo as well. And this one has the Oreo uh, decals inside it. Cough one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. So he sent me this one as well. This is a 2001 um, copyright date and very cool. These, I, I, honestly though, these, these monogram Ravel monogram kits are like great and i think what selvinos uses a lot of the monogram i think they use the monogram um molds for the the older monogram molds i don't know maybe i'm wrong i'm usually wrong and here's the third one this is Ravel monogram and this is doesn't have a year on the front but it is a 198 monte carlo del earnhardt and to go along with this, I've got another Del. I've got an older Monte Carlo up there. I've got quite a few Del Earnhardt things now. Very cool. Where'd they go? I moved them. Anyway, got them somewhere. Um, but Tim, thank you for sending me these. He also sent me a hat. Where the heck did I put the hat? Here it is. He sent me a hat. Tim works for an auto parts store, Auto Part International, or Auto Part Dealer, or something. And uh, he sent me this this cool hat. Second hat, he gave me a diehard hat last time. And I am a hat guy. So uh, uh, thanks for the hats, man. Keep them coming. I love hats. But thank you for these three cool um, NASCAR kits here. Um, I've got to get around to building a NASCAR kit. I put it off <coughs> and I put it off and I put off. I'm afraid of decals. That's my fear. I'm afraid of decals. I think the black uh, Earnhardt cars would be fine. If it's a solid color car with just decals, I'll probably, I'm okay. But when you have to start doing paint schemes to actually be divided by um, decals, I get afraid of that stuff. And it's like, I don't want to do a lot of work on something and then all of a sudden I mess it up because I mess up the decal or something like that. So that's my fear. Maybe some of you guys can sympathize with me there because of that, but that that's one that, that's one reason i don't build nascar kits um not that i won't but i haven't so uh, thanks again tim ryan for that and now i got something special dg old school models this is david goodwin david sent me this uh shop card which was is really cool apparently david likes gassers what do you think and uh, sent me the shop car with some kind words on the back of it. I appreciate that, um, David. But he not only sent me the shop card, which, by the way, I'm going to um, uh, link his channel in the description, by the way. So go check it out. DG. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking something and rather than saying it. DG Old School Models. So I'm going to link that channel, but he also sent something else. And if you're a Patreon member, you already know what he sent me. Um, I encourage you, if you aren't a Patreon member, go over and join Patreon. Um, and you can have firsthand access to some special things. When this came in, I had to take a picture and send to my Patreon members. All right, so here's one. He sent me some kits. Atlantis Little Red Baron by Tom Daniels. This is a snap kit. It's a little bitty guy. Um, it's 132nd. 132nd scale right there. And uh, it's one of those cartoon type. Um, 
cartoon type cars, uh, exaggerated or whatever you call them. But thank you so much for that, David. Um, this is really cool. I need to build this. But when I got that, I was like, man, that's so cool. I think my very first model car, if I can, <coughs> excuse me, if I can recollect, not my very first model. My very first model, I believe, was an SR71 Blackbird. But I think my very first model car was a, uh, was it Monogram Red Baron? And those things are hard to, not hard to find. Uh, they just going to cost you. And it was the 124 scale or whatever it's the, you know, anyway. I thought that was so cool when I bought that as a kid and built that. So this brought back a lot of memories when I saw that. So I appreciate that. And the next one he sent is this 69 old 442. Um, it has a few things already done to it, but for the most part, it's, it's a, it's an unbuilt kit. And, um, I love these 69 olds. They are very cool. Uh, Mr. Jeff Elliott sent me one. Uh, a while back it's a 7442 but it's a johan and uh johan rather and uh, but these are great kits i've done a um, comparison on these before because this actually is an an mpc kit that when amt purchased mpc or however that the Ertl actually purchased them both i think it became an amt because you a, a mpc gets such a bad rap by so many people but this is a great kit i love to build this one the the 455 version this one they build wonderful it's one of my favorite builds is the um these two the ones that i've built like this but thank you for this um because you've already started i might have to finish it for you so i appreciate that and then last but not least um he sent one more and i was blown away by this one um I just recently did a, uh, Mark from Hobby Nut allowed me to uh, do a video on some of his older Johans and uh, harder to find. And uh, guess what showed up in the box with these two? This, a Plymouth Superbird Johan. And when you, when you get something like this, you think, oh, it's probably... It's probably a glue bomb right it's probably already been started or whatever but uh no it's not look at there look at that color the one that uh mark had the other day was a darker blue this is they say johan had the wildest colors but this is an actual johan super bird and i was like whoa I, I even was excited to show my show my wife show heather and she could care less but um it's like wow man that is so cool I think he, think if I, if my memory serves me correct, he got it at a yard sale. Look at that price. <clears throat> wow. You ain't getting it for five bucks. I can promise you that. But it's it's been around a while. It uh, looks like silverfish or something. There's a little bug called a, I think it's called a silverfish. But he, he, it eats paper. And uh, typically, if you see paper that has like holes in it like this, that's what's got a hold to it. It's this, what's called a silverfish. It's just this little teeny bug, and they love paper. I'm glad they don't like plastic, because that's more important than the paper. I could find another one of these. But yeah, gosh, I can't believe it. It's just like, this This is, this is awesome. So thank you so much for that, David. Um, and thank you, Tim, for sending me... Um, sending me those those Dale Earnhardt kits and thank you Mr. Donald Perry for um sending me those um scale autos and thanks to my mom for getting me that uh that kit out of um wherever yeah that house it came from um just so cool I mean this this community is um is wonderful um my post on Patreon was I have, this is the greatest community like ever because, I mean, look, look, look guys, these kits here. Anyway, guys, sorry about that. My camera totally cut off and I don't have any idea how much I was talking without the camera working. But anyway, I've got all these back on the table to just to say thank you guys. Thank you for all you do in support of me. Don't forget to go to the, uh, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. 
go to the Teespring store. If you want a t-shirt, a mug, a, a hoodie or something like that, go check that out. Go to Hobby Nut Models and uh, also become a Patreon member. You get behind the scenes access and things like that. Um, you can check all those out in the description below as well as DG Old School Models. That'll be in the description as well. But thank you to Tim Ryan, uh, David Goodwin, and Mr. Donald Perry for the uh, gracious gifts that you sent me. I really and truly appreciate that. And I'm going to end this video now, guys. So, again, thank you for watching. And until the next one, hey, you guys take care. See you later. <music>